Attention all GEPF members, this video is an absolute must watch for you. Why? Because I'm about to reveal how the new two-part system set to be implemented on 1st September 2024 will affect every single GEPF member, whether you're considering withdrawing, retiring, or resigning. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly does a two-part system mean for you? How will it affect your ability to access your money? And should you leave before the two-part system is implemented? I'm Devon Iker, a Retire vs. Resign Specialist, and today we're not just going to scratch the surface. We'll dive deep into what the two-part system entails, the implication on your pension savings, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself against potential pitfalls. And here's why you want to stick around till the end of this video. I'll be sharing exclusive tips and strategies that you won't find anywhere else, practical steps that you can take today to navigate these changes with confidence and security. Now, whether you're near to leaving, or have years ahead before you retire or resign. Understanding these insights could make a significant difference in how you effectively leverage your GEPF benefits under the new system. Let's take a step back and understand the absolute basics on how the two-part system works in general, and then I'm gonna guide you into how this would apply on GEPF, taking into account that GEPF is a defined benefit fund. Now, if you have been working before 1998, this video is particularly important because it does it could affect the pre-98 tax-free savings. So let's understand the basics again of what exactly do we mean when we say before or after the two-part system in general. Now I'm going to draw this here. This is before the two-part system. And in essence, money that you have saved, that's accumulated. So we'll call this pool here, your resignation pool. And this is not to say that you're going to resign or retire. This is just giving you some insights. Here's your pool of money. Let's assume the capital is sitting at six million. Currently, which is before the two-part system, you could move all of this money through to an approved fund if you wanted to exit. So every single cent of it could be channeled through to an approved fund. What's taking place after the change is, this is after two-part. The money is actually going to be split into three parts as I've shared in a previous video. The first part, being, pardon me, let's get the circle drawn better. The first part being a retirement part. And the retirement part is only going to be accessible to you when you get to retirement age, again, depending on what it is in, in your sector, right? Could be 60 if you are within SAPS, or if you're within, let's say, the Department of Education, then you know it's 65. So whatever your age, according to your sector, this is when you can access that pool of money. You'll also have a portion of your money, which is channeled towards what's called a savings pot. And I'll go into more detail shortly. And then a portion of your money, which will be moved towards what's called a vested pot. Now, what are the basics that you want to understand here? So let's first draw this so we can understand the picture clearly. So in essence, although it's termed a two-part system, if you have a look at it closely, there are actually three pots that are going to be created now. One being the retirement, second being the savings, and the third being the vested part. Now, let's take a step back and imagine it's not GEPF for a moment, right? Let's imagine it's not a resignation pool. Let's assume that this is a retirement annuity. Because it's a retirement annuity and it's your retirement annuity, you're in full control of this money, which means it's very easy post two part for the system to be implemented. You might have heard that a portion of your money will go into savings. And initially, this starts at around 30,000, right? or 10% of whatever sitting in your vested pot. Let's again use 30,000 in the example here. So which means the savings that you can access is 30,000. Now, you might be a well-disciplined individual, and you're not going to touch the savings, in which case the money that's in my example now, your retirement annuity, is going to continue to grow. You'll still continue to earn all the benefits as a result of it, right? So you're still going to have the nice growth. However, when we start to have a look at what's taking place from GEPF, GEPF is a defined benefit fund, which means everything operates in set of formulas. So the first thing to focus on is GEPF would have to adjust their formula in order to create a savings pool. And then it means because of the adjustment of the formula, are your benefits going to be the same? Meaning prior to two part, let's assume you have 6 million that's sitting as your resignation value. Post two part, are you still going to have six million in the resignation value? Keeping in mind your retirement pool in the beginning would be zero on the 1st of September. What would happen is you should have 30,000 that's sitting inside of your savings pool. 
And the balance of the money should be sitting here, which means in my example, 6 million Rand being split, 30,000 goes to savings. The balance of the money should sit in the vested pool. The question I'm asking is, when you add the savings pools and the vested pool together, is this going to total 6 million Rand? Because if it doesn't, then it means you've lost money. Now, stay tuned because I'm going to show you something that's pretty alarming. And I will, on a separate video, give you guidance on exactly how you can find out what you've lost or if you've gained after the two-pot system takes effect. Now, let's say there is a, a, an adjustment to the formula and there's some kind of loss. Now, you might not notice this. Let's assume that the loss is, in my example, 10 Rand. Right? It's a tiny value, you agree? So you're not really going to pay attention to this. And we just have to focus from a numbers perspective, though. Right? Keeping in mind, there are 1.2 million members. 1.2 million members within GEPF. So a 10 Rand loss per member is going to translate to an effective loss of 12 million Rand. This is just with a loss of 10 Rand. Let's assume that the loss is 100 Rand, which means it now becomes 120 million Rand that's vanished. And what if the loss is 1,000 Rand? Now, you agree with me, if you're sitting with a high resignation value, it's going to be difficult for you to notice this kind of a loss, right? Like 1,000 Rand. So this then translates to 1.2 billion Rand that's lost. Now, you might be familiar, and if you haven't, again, I've done a video on this, that on November 2022, GEPF adjusted their formulas. And initially, it looked as though members with less than 10 years service would be affected. But when members had done the calculations, the reports that I asked them to do the exercise, a lot of them had lost significant sums of money. In fact, I've dealt with countless members who lost over a million rand just overnight, some members who lost over 2 million rand. So in a case like that, the challenge is there's no one to go back to. These members have reported it to the ombuds, they've taken it back to GEPF, tried again with unions, but they haven't been able to get access to the information to properly get back the money that they've lost. So what happens post to part if there's a change to the formula who do you go to and how do you protect yourself so that you ensure that you don't lose this money? So this is the first concern that I want to share with you. The second concern is, let's again assume that the formula is the same or the loss is minimal, like in my example, I used, I used just three small values here. Now, again, you might be a disciplined individual. You might say to yourself that you're going to not interfere with the money that's in the savings pool because there's a tax implication and because it could affect you at a later stage. Now let's take a step closer. You might be an individual that's very secure. There are 1.2 million members working for government. And let's say out of the 1.2 million members, 100,000 of them are in desperate need of this money. And they want to access this 30,000. So now you've got 100,000 members taking 30,000 Rand out. And this becomes a significant sum of money. It becomes 3 billion. 3 billion rand, that's going to be a hit in September, assuming all 100,000. And it could be more because there are a lot of members within GEPF and government that need access to this cash because of wanting to settle off debt or finding it difficult to make ends meet. I mean, every member's situation is unique. So because you may not be able or you may not want to access the money, doesn't mean that the others won't want to. And what's the impact for you is this. 3 billion rand hit off the fund, let's say on in September. In addition to that, you've got to factor that thousands of members, tens of thousands would exit. Whether they opt to retire or resign, there's so much of doubt and insecurities around the two-part system. Thousands of them will exit, again, retiring or resigning, which means big chunks of money are going to come out of GEPF. And ultimately, GEPF has a duty. They've got a responsibility to the members that remain behind. So sitting inside of the fund, whatever the value is, they need to ensure that they have enough money to pay off pensioners, the incomes, as well as enough money for those members who want to resign and access their re resignation benefits. If the pool of money sitting in GEPF is not enough, let's assume that as a result of mass exits, as a result of members taking out these 30,000 rands, they don't have enough sitting in the pool 
to cover the pensioners' income and to cover resignation values for all members, then it would mean exactly what had happened in November 2022, where GEPF had adjusted the formula. And with the formula change coming about, there's not much time that members were notified the last time. They were notified on the 26th of October, and just five days later, three working days, the formula change kicked in and members had lost significant sums of money. Would be an interesting exercise if you haven't done it to go back and check to see what was your value before November 2022 and what's your value post November 2022. So this is the reason why I'm sharing with you that understanding the dynamics of two-part system in terms of GEPF is very different when it comes to a private fund, as I mentioned, let's say a retirement annuity. Because a retirement annuity, you're in control. When it comes to GEPF, Technically, you are part of the fund, but you're not so much in control because you are heavily dependent on, one, the formula that GEPF is going to use post two-part to ensure that whatever benefits you had prior to the two-part system taking effect is going to be properly moved over and you don't lose any money, keeping in mind, as I've shown you, the impact of the loss here. In addition to that, you're also dependent on your fellow colleagues, the other GEPF members among you, that they don't take huge chunks off from the pool. Because if they do, it would ultimately affect the full value sitting inside of GEPF. You also then have to make sure, which is something you don't have control over, that you don't have this situation happening where there's mass exits. But again, given everything that's happened within GEPF, a lot of question marks around investments in the past, the recent BEE strategy that we see coming up, it's left a lot of members feeling insecure. And I personally have had more members reaching out for assistance wanting to resign now than ever before in my professional career. So something to bear in mind, it's good for you to get an analysis or comparison done of retiring, resigning, so that you can understand what's the best way forward and make an informed decision whether the exit should happen before or after two-part system. Now, I will create additional videos or resources on this YouTube channel to guide you. If you're staying on with two-part, I'll also create a video on how you can leverage or strategize if you're wanting to leave before two-part system, as well as how you can determine if you would have a loss. So stay tuned to the channel where you'll get access to more information. If you found the video helpful, please give me a thumbs up so I know that the information is helpful to you. And post comments below. What's your takeaway on the two-part system? Do you feel that this is going to be a benefit or do you feel that this could result in more losses for you within your, your GEPF benefits? Comment below and let me know.